Halt, Outlander. By the Code of Malakath, this stronghold belongs to the Orcs. Your kind are unwelcome. <laughs> Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Skyrim video. I will return to Red Dead Redemption 2 at some point. Right now, I'm just having a good time playing Skyrim. Now, this mission is to retrieve the Forge Master's fingers in order to enter an orc stronghold. And it is in the ruins of Harmugstal, which, yeah, it's kind of a creepy mission. And if you don't like giant spiders, this is not going to be for you. So let's get on with this mission. Halt, Outlander. By the Code of Malakath, this stronghold belongs to the Orcs. Your kind are unwelcome. This is our stronghold. Here we are free to live as Malakath intended, away from the prying eyes of the Nords. You are not an Orc, our blood kin, so stay out. We only help our own. Hmm. We've heard whispers of an enchanted pair of gauntlets, hidden and protected by dangerous men, beasts, or worse. They are called the Forge Master's Fingers. Bring them to our chief, and he will decide if you're worthy to be bloodkin to the orcs. We will see. So, in order to gain entrance into the stronghold, you have to find the Forge Master's Fingers. And they tend to be located in various runes across the land. Um, I'm not going to go there. And let's see. Find the Forge Master's fingers in Harmish Dahl or whatever. Harmish Dahl. And that's going to be a long trek. So I'll see if I can fast forward and bump around a little bit. But I'm just going to cut to the actual, um, where I discover Harmugstall. Woods of Skyrim are fraught with danger, and I am set upon by, well, a werewolf. Find out if you are suffering any negative effects, go to your magic, scroll down, and active effects. If it's red, you're affected by it. It's a negative. And you can cure yourself of it using cure disease. Now, eventually, if I do fully join the companions, I will end up being able to transform into a werewolf. And cure disease will not stop the progression. Once it hits. Now we are at Harmugstall, and like I said, it's kind of a creepy adventure. If you don't like spiders, it's probably not for you. What was that? Over here. That was a close one. I don't know, but this place is full of them. Everyone I've encountered has been enchanted, or the like. Look, I'm getting out of here. Normally spiders make my skin crawl, but magic spiders? <laughs> you heard that right. Not only are the spiders normal, but 
and abnormally large. They're enchanted. They have magic armor they generate that does more damage when they attack you. So yeah, I'm going to be doing creepy creepy and sneaky sneaky and shooting them with arrows as much as possible. So let's get on to the next encounter. So far nothing. Now we come upon these levers and this gate. And I can tell you right now it's fairly easy to solve. I've done this a few times already. You pull the first lever back, everything drops down. You skip over to the last lever, you pull that down, and well, voila, everything opens up. The last, the first and last lever open everything up. Everything else you just messing around. Now let's get on to the next encounter. Now you come to this alchemy lab and there's a journal, read journal. Let's see, it would seem the smaller specimens cannot survive the infusion process. Application of the serum results in short bursts of elemental energy followed by death. I will have to change the formula. So you got some guy who's turning spiders into enchanted magical creatures. Now I'm going to go to this room and unlock using the ept. Well, let's just search a little bit first. You see a spider on a table here, and you got these serums and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I can't pick that up. Once I take the venom out of them, they burst into flames. Now, let's go back to this door here and see what's behind it. It's kind of creepy, so I got it figured out. Lock picking again is a skill you really need to amp up and again carry a minimum of a hundred lock picks. You're going to break them a lot if you don't have high lock picking. Like I just got this open. There's a spider. One shot, he's dead, which is good. You don't want to really mess with these. There's a take this and a gold and then whatever else I can find on the shelf, lavender, potions, 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 and nightshade. Take all these, if I can, elves ears, they're called, hey, a troll skull, I'll take, no, I'll leave that. These potions of resist fire, books, okay, I can sell the books. This one increases alchemy. More books. And some potion, a plate, that's worth nothing. And this chest, what do we have in this chest? Ah, 13 gold. Again, let's move forward to the next encounter. Now we're at the pens where most of the specimens were kept, and I'm trying to make sure I snipe them. Yep, here they come. I'm going to back up. You're better off getting hit by the poison than actually being physically attacked by these spiders because their enchantment will do extra damage to you, and you want to make sure they don't get to you and harm you in any way. But that is not sometimes possible. And let's see, I got that, my arrow. And where's this guy going to pop up here? Yep, there he is somewhere. Ah, got him, and he's dead. Now again, I'm going to fast forward through until the next encounter. Come to this room and there's a chest with something in it. Let's see what's in this. Yeah, not bad. Now you encounter the main guy right there. 
Up, oh, he's detected me and he's coming at me. There he is, Cornalis or whatever his name is. And yeah, he's pretty tough. Okay, let's see. This guy's got some stuff. You can take the key, which will let you into his main room and allow you to enter into other rooms, which are very minor. Now you've got to go down to the... I'm going to do some healing and stuff. But now you got to go down to the other floor where... There's going to be some spiders trapped in a cage. And that is going to be easy pickings for you. And by the way, if you want to know uh, what an ingredient does, eat it. And then you'll get a minor effect of what that ingredient does before you make it into a potion. Now you got these uh, spiders that, again, they're pretty easy pickings. So just leave them in the cage and shoot them, which is what I'm going to do right now. With the spiders dead, open up the cage and take what I can from them, which is frostbite, venom, a dwarven arrow. Yeah, whatever I can take, nothing. Well, ah, there we go. Now let's get on to the next room, which is right here. And you got the key to open the door. And this is where the Forge Master Fingers is located. But you want to take what you can from these spiders and all these potions and other stuff. Ugh. But you got spider eggs and all kinds of stuff. Oh, don't need the gloves. But do need the glow dust. And let's see what's in this drawer. There's a shrine to Julianus or whatever. Uh, nothing worth taking. In fact, I'm going to dump the gloves that I took in there. And let's see what's in the master chest. Ah, Meridian's Beacon. A new hand touches the beacon. Listen, hear me and obey. A foul darkness has seeped into my temple. A darkness that you will destroy. Return my beacon to Mount Kilcreath. And I will make you the instrument of my cleansing light. Meridian's Beacon pops up randomly at times after you achieve a certain level, and then you gotta find the shrine and clear a temple. I believe I did a um, 
whatchamacallit walkthrough of that when I was playing the Xbox 360. Now these giant frostbite spiders, all you really have to do is just sit back here like I'm doing right now and snipe them and use frostbite venom against them. It does work against them. And yeah, at most they will spit poison at you. And again, you just these are the last major spiders that you got to take down and you have to kill them. Your archery is going to increase. Beautiful kill shot there. That one's dead. Got a great reaction. Now, I believe they're now both dead. And you can take, if they have arrows and stuff from them, always take spider eggs. They are great for potion making and making deadly potions. Now that this is over, I'm going to fast forward a little bit to the exit. Now that that is over, it's time to return the Forge Master's fingers and get into the um, Orc Stronghold. And let's see, I'm going to level up here first, spend my perk points on something. One-handed archery, ah, here we go. Archery, critical shot. Or not. Eagle Eye is good because when you press blocking, you can zoom in and get a better shot at your enemy. Now, if I can fast forward, uh, crap, bring Forge Master's fingers. Crap, I'm going to have to walk there, but I'll fast travel over to the uh, whatever. Again, I'm going to have to fast forward and walk. I should have opened up something near there, but I will get to there by just a cutscene. Enter. Speak to our chief right away. I don't believe it. You found the Forge Master's fingers. Feel free to trade with our smiths for orc weapons and armor. Train with my warriors, or purchase poisons from the wise woman. Welcome to our stronghold, Bloodkin. And there you have it. I am now friends to the orcs. I can make poisons and get poisons and buy orc equipment, trade with them. It's a wonderful life. I am Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you enjoy this type of video, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. I post four times a week and you don't want to miss out. I love posting these type of videos and I'm going to keep doing so for a while. Well, thanks for stopping by. Kill them to get some beer every now and then. Stupid bees and they're stupid. You there, uh, citizen. This area is off limits. You're interfering with the imperial business. Yeah, so you'll have to pay us a fine. Say, a hundred gold. Pay up, citizen. Fine. If you can't pay with coin, you'll pay with your life. No.